Grand Risings. You guys watching this video, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out the channel. I am getting through it. So, Cameron, an issue I just realized this morning was you have a problem with letting females to find your boundaries. And that's an issue because every person, especially women, especially women, are going to have their own boundaries. And so whenever you get rejected or you get pushed back from women, particularly in this case, don't let it redefine what your boundaries are. You got to have your own internal set of standards, limits, and boundaries. Ta well, standards, limits, tolerance, boundaries. So then you can properly navigate the world. Everything else is just an illusion because um, it's not for you anyways. It's not for you anyways. So don't get caught up in trying to change yourself to fit a situation you don't fit in. The situations that you fit in are the ones, when I say fit in, I mean situations that are compatible with you are the ones you just focus on. Everything else is here today, gone tomorrow. Think about that. Today I get to help with a nonprofit. Oh no, no, a foundation. I get to help with a foundation. We're giving away food and meals at the town hall building. Town hall. Right up the street at one. So, um, I'll be doing that for a couple hours today. Other than that, I also went to the auto parts store, a different auto parts store, and ordered the part, and I saw the part, the starter for my car, and I saw a picture of it before they ordered it. Apparently, it should get here today, sometime in the middle of me volunteering. So, if that's the part that actually works for my car, I'm definitely getting my money back from the other people who have sent the wrong part three times and which I've already paid for. So I definitely kept all my receipts for both of them. And the, the, the trick of it is, or not, it's not the trick, but I need to look up what that word is because caveat, maybe. I don't know. I'm setting this up wrong, but I told my friend that they sent me the wrong part again. He's like, man, you need to go to a different store. I was like, yeah, I do. That's a good idea. And so then that's why I went to this store yesterday. I would have had the idea. It wasn't an original idea. I got it from my friend to just go to a different store and get them to order a part. And turns out that was the best thing I could have done. And um, it'll get here sooner than the other people. They're saying it's going to come on Friday. People say it'll come the next day. So it's like, you got to get other people's opinions. No man is an island unto himself. Um, other than that, oh, I gave out 500 business cards. I need. To, I feel like I need to order some more. I'm just looking at it right now. It's like, I got 500 left. So I did like, yesterday I did, I gave out 100 and, well, I started with 178. and Went through that whole neighborhood. I might have like 15 left from people who are like not interested. But the, the really good part is that 
It's fine if they're not interested because I've been practicing those scripts. And those scripts are so amazing. People think I'm having a real conversation with them. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of doing some work. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't stop and have a conversation with you. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> they think they're having a conversation with me and I'm, I'm got, I got the script. It's like, that's how powerful that script is. Like, it, they definitely had it. However long they've had that script for, it works because it works. They got it right the first time whenever they created that script. Because people are thinking I'm having a whole conversation with them. Like, that's way different from how I was doing it before where I didn't have a script. I just, well, I have my own quote-unquote script where I just say, hey, I'm here to, I'm Agent Wilson. I'm your, I'm your new real estate agent. And people will look at me like, huh? And, you know, I actually did get two listings. I got two listing appointments from that last month when I was doing that script. But after I switched to this actual other script, the overall response from people is just higher. It's more organic, actually, because people feel like they can just talk. Like one dude was like, yeah, you know, I just moved down here from New York. Uh, I'm retired. The house is paid off. You know, I was in the military for 13 years. And so I was like, dang, dude, like, I don't think he would have told me that if I would have, if I would have went about it a different way. Cause he was opening up more so than what was even on the page. Like I would have had to have asked him three, four questions to get, you know, that type of response. And the script is so good. I'm only asking him two questions. And he's telling me all the rest of the stuff on the that I would have asked, all the rest of the information I would have already asked for. That I would have asked for. So it's just, I need to practice those more. Because they are so good that they'll prevent someone from slamming the door in your face. Like, and I've, and they, it happened yesterday. And so I, after that, I was just like, oh, I only practiced the script for like 15 minutes. I mean, I, I made a recording of myself. So yesterday, I made a recording of myself, actually, speaking the script in a, uh, a very bass tone voice, which is also interesting because at the doors, I can speak in this manner and most home, well, every single person only knows this version of me. It's so fun even more of a game um uh other than that um i printed all the scripts out yesterday and things seem to be going well they're going well over my buyer He's now got, he grew some balls. He's like, yeah, Cam, we're about to close up on this. They're not about to charge me 150 to do a power of attorney. I know it don't cost that. So I'm going uh, I'm to talk to them about making that a better price. And so, uh, he, um, He's definitely more like, I'm about to do, I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it my way. So that means he's taking ownership. I mean, yeah, he doesn't need to argue about a price of 150 bucks, but I like seeing him take ownership because that means he's going to close it. I'm going to get paid and I helped one more person. And I feel like I was being very assertive and aggressive with this deal. So... I like that because that's going to get me more deals. And I was listening to uh, Mike Ferry, Mike Ferry TV. He's like, how often does someone call your broker and say, hey, Mr. Broker, Agent Wilson was too aggressive. Never. Be more aggressive, which I love hearing that. I'm like, yes, this is a business I can be aggressive in. 
and then it gets results. Because, yeah. So I'm going to get the day started, finish up some food I had, and uh, just sort through, sort through some paperwork, practice my scripts, go to that uh, volunteer opportunity foundation, um, clean up my desk in my office, catch up on any other paperwork that I need for that closing or in general, as well as pick up that part. Farewell.